Hi, in this video, we'll be talking about the second method to solve quadratics, which is completing a square. So this method for solving quadratics involves writing the quadratic expression in the completed square form. If you're unsure about completing a square, check out the video in the link above. As a quick recap, completing a square is writing a quadratic expression in the form of x plus u squared plus v where u and v are some numbers. So let's start with an example. So we have the quadratic equation x squared plus 4x minus 5 equals 0. So this quadratic equation is in the form that we already want. So the form that we always want when we're solving quadratic equations is a quadratic expression equals to 0. So we are trying to complete the square of our quadratic expression, which is x squared plus 4x minus 5. So to, to complete the square, we first half the coefficient of x. So the coefficient of x is the number in front of x. So in this case, it's 4. So half of 4 is 2. So therefore, our perfect square is x plus 2 squared, which we can expand to give x squared plus 4 x plus 4. However, to make this equal to our quadratic expression, which is x squared plus 4x minus 5, we need to minus 9 to our perfect square. So x squared plus 4x minus 5, written in the completed square form, is x plus 2 squared minus 9. And this is equal to 0. So we can begin solving like any other equation. So in this case, we have to plus 9 to both sides. So we'll end up getting x plus 2 squared equals 9. And now to get rid of the square, we need to square root both sides. So the square root of x plus 2 squared is x plus 2. And the square root of 9 is 3. However, we can also get plus 3 or minus 3. So we put the plus minus sign here. This is, this is because negative 3 squared is also 9. So then the next step will just be minusing 2 from both sides. So we have x equals minus 2 plus minus 3. And so we have two different answers here. So we have negative 2 plus 3, which is 1. And we have negative 2 minus 3, which is negative 5. Just like the previous videos, we can check our answers by substituting in x equals 1 and x equals negative 5 into our original equation, which is x squared plus 4x minus 5, and see if it is equal to 0. So let's try another example. Here we have x squared plus 6x minus 6. So we have to write x squared plus 6 minus 6 in the completed square form. So the first thing we do is we halve the, the coefficient of x. So half of 6 is 3, so our perfect square is x plus 3 squared, which we can expand to give x squared plus 6x plus 9. So to make this equal to our expression, which is x squared plus 6x minus 6, we have to take away 15 from our perfect square. So x squared plus 6x minus 6 in the completed square form is equals to x plus 3 squared minus 15. And this whole thing is equal to 0. So we're solving x plus 3 squared minus 15 equals 0. So the first thing we can do is we'll add 15 to both sides to give us x plus 3 squared equals 15. Then we'll take the square root of both sides to give us x plus 3 equals to the square root of 15, but don't forget whenever we square root, we need the plus minus sign. Then we can take away 3 from both sides to give us x is equals to negative 3 plus minus 15, square root of 15. So here we also have our two answers, which is negative 3 plus square root of 15 and negative 3 minus square root of 15. And we can put this into our calculator to find the answer to three single figures or two, two decimal places.